In the year 2011, it was observed that the United States had more natural disasters, which cost more than a billion dollars in damage, than at any other time. The previous record for the number of billion dollar climate disasters was nine, set in 2008. The year 2011 witnessed 14 storms, which cost more than a billion dollars in damage. On the days around Groundhog's Day 2011, a blizzard which stretched from Mexico to Canada cost $3.9 billion in damage. It dumped uh, up to two feet of snow in areas such as Chicago where it was the third uh, worst snowfall in history. In early April, severe storms in the Midwest and Southeast uh, sparked a number of tornadoes in Arkansas, Kentucky, and Mississippi. It cost more than $2 billion in damages. Severe storms on April 8th through 11th uh, spawned a number of tornadoes in Virginia and Iowa. More than $2 billion of damage were done, and one tornado's path stretched more than three and a half miles. A tornado outbreak from April 14th to 16th produced more than 200 tornadoes and cost more than $2 billion in damages. 38 people died. On April 19th through 21st, severe weather produced more than 60 tornadoes in the Midwest and Southeast. On April 25th through 30th, there was a super outbreak of tornadoes. More than 330 tornadoes uh, were identified in more than 20 states from Texas to New York. They cost more than $5.5 billion in damage. Four were rated as EF5. The tornadoes, which occurred over six days uh, starting May 22nd, killed more than 180 people and cost more than $7 billion in damage. In the weeks starting June 16th in the Midwest and Southeast, severe thunderstorms and tornadoes cost more than a billion dollars in damage. In spring, Melting of snow and two storms caused flooding in the Mississippi River, which caused more than $4 billion in damage and caused the states of Kentucky, Tennessee, and Mississippi to be declared federal disaster areas. Texas experienced one of the worst droughts of its history, and by the end of June, more than 90% of the state was considered to be an extreme or exceptional drought. More than 3 million acres were burned in wildfires and cost more than $3 billion. With record rainfall and more than double the average amount of snow, the Missouri River flooded in the spring, costing more than a billion dollars of damage. Hurricane Irene, which swept up the East Coast at the end of August, is one of the costliest 10 catastrophes in U.S. history, costing at least $7 billion and perhaps as much as 10 to $13 billion. The 8 to 12 inches of rain caused record flooding in many areas and more than 6 million people lost their power. Tropical Storm Lee followed Hurricane Irene, and its 10 inches of rain produced additional flooding. Binghamton, New York, received more than double its 24-hour record for record rainfall, and the Susquehanna River in Pennsylvania reached its highest flood stage in its recorded history. At the end of October, an unlikely snowstorm dumped large amounts of snow along the East Coast, including almost three feet of snow in New England, its greatest uh, amount for an October storm since the early 1800s. Because of all of the tree branches uh, covered with snow while they still possess their leaves, the lost electricity affected more than 3 million people and cost more than $3 billion in damage.